What's going on, everybody? Holy smokes, it happened. Biden has dropped out of the race. They finally pushed him out. Holy smokes. This is wild. Turns out the reporting for Friday was true, but obviously there was no reason to fully believe it because we'd heard this several times leading up, but it finally happened. The pressure has mounted and Biden has now dropped out. Here we go right here. Let's just go over through his letter right here says my fellow americans over the past three and a half years we've made a great progress as a nation wah, wah. yeah sure we did today america is the strongest economy in the world which is true but it just shows how bad the rest of the world is uh blah 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 we did all this stuff no none of this could be done without you the american people together we be overcame a once in a century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the great depression okay but okay okay joe <laughs> um greatest honor of my life i'll speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision how crazy is this that they just put something on twitter to announce this without a press conference he can't come in front of us and do it very crazy stuff i i just i don't think joe wanted to go i know jill for sure didn't and uh this just has all the makings of they strong armed him into this uh let's see for now let me express my deepest gratitude work so hard i want to thank you kamala harris and okay anyways blah 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 political speak the craziest thing here is that uh he has now endorsed kamala now remember the reporting on friday said he wasn't going to do this however this tells me there's there's a wrench thrown into everything so something's going on obviously uh i don't i've talked about this a lot the democrats are at civil war there is no cohesion here and there is going to be a fight from now until the convention over who's going to run. And we're going to see several people throw their names into the race. Now, I don't think it's going to be that many because Trump is running so strong and it's pretty much a guaranteed loss. But this also means they're really going to ratchet up the cheating to make it seem like it's more believable because nobody believed Biden would win. So this is what we got to watch out for. However, the fact that he endorsed Kamala does make it extremely difficult to get anybody else in there. She has been chosen as a successor by Biden himself, who's the current acting president, uh, which means all that campaign money is going to her and it cannot go anywhere else. She's already going to be on the ballot with the transition because she was the vice president. This is just so much harder for anybody else to do it. But do not rule out the fact that there was a lot of buzz about Clinton this weekend and she's probably making moves behind the scenes to try to usurp this. Um, as far as everything else, what, what does this mean going forward? I do not think we're seeing Michelle Obama. So get that out of your heads. You can continue to believe that if you want, but the word has been for years, Michelle wants nothing to do with politics. She wants out. And for whatever reason, you guys can <laughs> put your guesses as to why I have my own suspicions, but she does not want to run, be in front of all the people, the scrutiny. She's living her best life, uh, just living it up with all the riches they made from being president and just doesn't want to go near this. And the only way I'd see Michelle Obama getting in the race is if she was guaranteed to win, which there's that's just simply not happening here. Trump is so far ahead. It just came out today that he's up seven in Michigan. Seven. Biden was up eight in Michigan on the last poll of 2020 and only won by 3.8 points, which means that poll of seven could actually mean Trump's actually up 11 in Michigan, which means that the Rust Belt's gone. They're, it's going to be impossible for them to cheat their way out of this. So, But look for them to try everything they possibly can, including maybe cyber attacks on Election Day, that sort of thing. But for now, the focus is who's going to be the nominee. Kamala is right up there, and I would say 80% chance it's her. 80% chance because of all... The logistics they have to go through to make it anybody else. But that doesn't mean there's not going to be a fight. This, I think, they think this is their uh, their get out of jail free card. But in my opinion, this is actually going to wreck them. This is going to be terrible for the Democratic Party. They don't realize that how when everybody's watching them, what they are now, this is a major turnoff for people. There's no stability. There's obviously no leadership in the Democratic Party. They are eating their own. There's a civil war between the Clinton faction and the Obama faction. It's falling apart for them. 
And it's only going to get worse, especially over the next month leading up to the convention. And then once their nominee is official at the convention, they have two and a half months to run an entire campaign. It's, it's an impossible task, which means watch out for major leaning into the cheating, major leaning into the cheating. Uh, it, uh, things are coming already. We're in uncharted territory. Last Saturday, a week ago, a presidential candidate, the, the leader, the front runner was shot, survived this weekend. The week after a president drops out three and a half months before the election. This is history. 2024 is shaping up to be the most consequential year of the modern age. And this is the biggest election of all time. And the Democrats are falling apart before our eyes. Doesn't mean count them out. It means we're fighting, but we're going to win this fight as long as we keep showing up to fight. There is no chance for them to win if we don't get lazy and if we show up. And I, I believe that with all my heart. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this update uh, for my channel members. I will be live tonight. We're going to have to go through a lot of stuff talking about what to expect this week and going forward and also uh, in the markets, politics, all that. But I um, want to get out this update. So God bless you guys and I'll talk to you soon.